morning. We're getting ready. We've got a few people coming over to see the puppies and the plan is for them to take home. Um, we got one couple coming to take home one of the boys and one to come and take home one of the girls. So it's always a little sad, but um, it's exciting. We found good homes for them and um, I'm not going to take any video while they're um, here just for privacy, but um, We'll let you know which ones they end up taking. The um, They haven't picked which boy they want, so it could be either Pluto or Jupiter for the first people, and then whichever they don't pick, we'll, uh, the, next, the next one will go to another couple. So um, that's the plan today. Mm-hmm. Well, Miss Ophelia, you've been a good girl. I'm going to miss you. I like you a lot. You're going to make that family so happy, aren't you? <laughs> There's bugs everywhere. Are you going to make that family so happy? Bye, little girl. Okay. Amelia's going to a new home today. And also, it's the same day of uh, when Pandora leaves. Yep, Pandora and, just left. And also, Jupiter left tomorrow. Yesterday. I mean yesterday. And then, um, he's going to leave pretty soon. How do you feel about that? Um, I am going to miss her. Yeah, are you a little sad? Say bye-bye. But she gets she gets a new family, doesn't she? Yep. And that's exciting for her. And hello to a new family. Guys, this is so awful. Look at all these Asian beetles. Asian beetles. And a wasp. There's a wasp up there too. Ugh, they stink. They're no good. I don't know if you can see them, but they're flying over there. There's tons of them. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna spill my coffee. Good morning. So today we've got to figure out shipping for Pluto. And then um, we're still working on selling, finding a home for Portia. We're going to work on some marketing stuff for Portia. I need to set a vet appointment for Reagan and her puppies. We need to get another crate so we can start doing um, crate training with Reagan's puppies, with the Golden Doodle puppies. Ouch. Otherwise, it's just another typical day of cleaning. Not too much going on. Cleaning and catching up from the weekend and um, taking care of these yahoos. Want to see something scary? So it was a long weekend and we, I did not keep up with cleaning the garage where the Bernadoodle puppies have been. And um, last night, Ronnie was in the garage and I kind of forgot her there. And so this is what happened. She got into the garbage. We leave the gar, we've left the garbage in here and like seriously, Izzy never touches it. And her puppies never touch it, and it's fine, it's never an issue. But because Ronnie was in the garage, this happened. Sometimes that dog. And she also pooped in the garage. And this is all water. There's water that came because it's raining. But yeah, so I have a really big mess to clean up. I feel like that could be the intro of every video I do. Like, here's my giant mess every day. All right, here we go.
put him out to go potty. Come on, Pluto! <laughs> Let's help Portia get up. There you go. Come on, Venus! Go potty! Did you go potty? Look at these three. So Portia, Pluto, and Venus are the three we have left. The others have gone to new homes. And all on their own, they decided to go in the crate. And the other funny part is they all decided to go in the same crate. So it's like they're used to going three to a crate, <laughs> even though they have this whole one over here that's totally open and empty. They're gonna take a nap. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door so they stay in there. Good night, sweet dears. Okay. While I was cleaning, here's what happened. Look at me, Riley. What did you do? Were you trying to make yourself pretty? It's okay. Are you sorry? Yeah. Blair, what did you do? I think I, I think I did it. <sighs> They're so sleepy. Come on. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. They're fighting. Just play fighting. Wednesday was supposed to be laundry day, but I ran out of laundry detergent, so I decided I needed to do a different project, and so I decided to build a fence. It's something we've been wanting to do for a while anyway, and um, we've got all the stuff for it, so I was like, eh, let's just do it. Plan. That's the basement door. That's where um, Reagan's puppies are currently, and we're going to move the Bernadoodle puppies down there for the next couple of days while they're here. Anywho. We have always talked about, careful Blair, talked about fencing off this section to be like a play uh, puppy area because we don't want to have the big dogs getting all over in our faces every time we take the puppies out to go potty. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to start at the corner of the house here and go to that wood post right over there. how many puppies are going potty. That's all potty I won't have to clean up. They're even pooping. A bunch of them are pooping. Dogs naturally like to go outside in the grass. Look at that. This is wonderful. <laughs> so I finished the fence. It's not super pretty, but it is gonna work. This way I will be able to let the puppies out and they have this little yard to play and poop in and I'll be able to let them out without all of these big dogs getting in. Puppies, puppies!
nice pile of logs and I kind of spread some out over here so that they can play on them because they like to have places to climb and explore. Don't they, Blair? Just trying to make it more interesting. Eventually, I would love to have more like um, things for them to like play with and stuff out here, but open space is good too. They need to learn how to walk and run and use their legs. Puppies, puppies, puppies! 